recipe as hell. I'm going to spice latte. Ooh. I want basic. Well, yeah, I think I topped out basic. You went extra. <laughs> I went super basic. <laughs> now, if you're looking at our orders, like, it, it would look like yours, mine should belong to you and yours should belong to me. Why is not? Well, because general male and female concepts. You've got like the, may I? The regular cup. And I've got, it looks like Prince made a drink. So, what is this again? Witch's Brew Cream Frappuccino. Okay, so this is Starbucks's Halloween thing. Witch's Brew Cream Frappuccino. It's supposed to be, it's an orange cream frapp, and then... I think you can kind of see little crystals in it. Those are supposed to be, I think, like bat wings, but I think it's just green sugar. Oh, they got, this whole top portion is just crusted in it. Yeah, but it's like also distributed throughout the wrap. It doesn't really show though, does it? I think the, like the strength of the purple, like kind of overpowered the green. Hmm. Because you can see it in there, but you have to look. It's a beautiful purple. It is a pretty purple. But... Yeah, it greens, sugar, lumps here. And it tastes like creamsicle. It does. It really does. And it's not like ordinarily. Like I tried the scary uh, Burger King thing the other day. And I would have got a video, but they put it in a regular cup. So it would have made. Oh, yeah. That scary black cherry. Yeah. And I was like pooping. It was intense. I was pooping blue for like. Oh, you know, that didn't affect days, me. Four but days? I only I only drink like a, four, a quarter of mine. The the flavor of that was literally, it was supposed to have been like black cherry Fanta. It tastes like cherry Coke to us. It did. It tastes like really intense cherry Coke. So I kind of believe the Fanta flavoring, but I think it had Coke flavoring too. But this legitimately tastes just like orange cream. Like the, the color doesn't overpower it at all. Mm -mm. It's actually pretty good. I like it. Yeah. But later on today, we're going to... It doesn't beat the Taco Bell caramel apple freeze that they have right now though. No, it... That thing is amazing. I should have recorded that. Mm -hmm. I think about it. I think you did, didn't you? I got pictures. I didn't record. I thought you recorded. Did I record? I thought you recorded. I have to look through my phone. If I did, I'll add it to this. Okay. Like unexplained, just drop it in the middle. <laughs> As I context. do. Here we go. Oh no! Like I do a lot of our video editing on my phone, mm -hmm. so sometimes things are out of order, and then Sherry will email me saying, "Tim, this is out of order from this." I'll be like, "Okay, I'll fix it." I never fix it. Aww. At any rate. So, it's pretty good. And later on today, hopefully, we're going to be trying the scary Burger King burger that's supposed to give you nightmares. The nightmare Whopper. Why, why do they got a Whopper that was chicken? I thought it was a Whopper. It looks like it's chicken from the pictures. Is it really? We'll find out tonight if it's available. All right. This one is raspberry cream. It's had better days. Hmm. Uh, squishier. It's not bad though. Hmm. Alright, so as mentioned earlier, we were going to get the scary burger. Scary Whopper? Is that what it's called? Nightmare Burger. Ah, uh, I'm so bad with names. I'm so glad I have you. I'm not sure if it's the Nightmare Whopper or the Nightmare Burger. Give me two seconds and I'll find out. Nightmare something. While well, she's looking that up though, check this out. The packaging. There's a big crown with a jack-o'-lantern eyes. I'm assuming that's what that's supposed to be. It's neither. It's the Nightmare King. Oh. All right, so we got the Nightmare King. So, packaging. It's all Halloween-ish. Halloween-y. Open this up a little bit. Let's see. More of this packaging. It's got like stitches, so it's like a Franken bun. See that? Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna look at the bun itself. That's um okay. You know what? I, I'm looking at the screen, and it looks brown, but if you're actually seeing it in person, it's green. But it's not as vibrant as the ads. No, but look at the screen though. The screen just makes it look like it's just brown. Oh, true. It does have an eerie green tinge. But, like, the commercials show it being, like, radioactive slime green. That is yeah. not the case. No. This is like somebody accidentally squirted a slight small squirt of green food coloring in the buns. But yeah, though, if you could see this in person, it is green. Like, if I was to see this and someone didn't tell me what it was, I wouldn't eat it. That's true. <laughs> like, it does look old. 
Unfortunately, the, the phone, I think, is literally color correcting it. You think the AI's gotten that good or just recognizes this is a bun and it should be brown? No. It's probably a lighting thing. There's okay. yellow in the light. There's green there. It's Oh. Well, shoot. Okay, well. So we see here it's bacon. Stuck to the top over there, too. And a burger. Wait for it. Does that make it? Oh, better? there we are. Okay, now you can see it. That's green. That is straight up green. Good <laughs> job, sweetie. Mm -hmm. So, that is this Nightmare Burger, or Nightmare King. So I'm going to take a bite of this. Nightmare King. I'll say it. Uh. Hmm. Actually, it's not bad. Not really sure what's supposed to be so nightmarish about it. I mean, basically, it's just chicken, pork, and beef. So, I guess if you're from PETA, this is horrifying. Didn't they say that this is, like, supposed to be nightmare-inducing? Like, if you eat it right before bed, it has a high probability of, like, inducing nightmares. But, like, eating anything right before bed has a high probability of inducing nightmares. That's true. I'm prone to nightmares anyway. Hmm. Let's see. The Burger, burger King claims the Nightmare King will make it three and a half times more likely... For you to sleep terribly when you hit the pillow. Hmm. So essentially, it's supposed to cause nightmares. Mm -hmm. There's really not anything in here that should cause nightmares. Yeah, apparently they teamed up with the Florida Sleep and Neurodiagnostic Services to conduct a study of 100 participants. They monitored them over 10 nights and had them eat the Nightmare King before they went to bed. I don't want to call BS on that. <laughs> yeah, like 100 patients in 10 nights is not that much. And did they have them for 10 nights where they didn't eat? And was it double blind? How would it, it be double blind? It sounds like Burger King might have made a donation to a sleep study. <laughs> 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 okay, so that is the Nightmare King, everybody. We'll now return you to your scheduled program. All right, this one is Orange Marshmallow. And Brittany doesn't want to bite. So it's all mine. Yeah. Mm. It tastes more marshmallow than orange. Mm. So not bad. Alright, just so you know, it's videoing right now. But I'm catching a Badoof. Catching a Badoof? Badoof. I see. Badoof, Badoof. I see a. There's a. Uh -huh. There's a Badoof. You stay in the bowl. All right, so what do we get again? This is a... Caramel Apple Freeze. Caramel Apple Freeze. Hey, everybody. Okay, this is going to be part of our weekend video. There's going to be more, I don't know, decently put together stuff in the future. But right now, we just stopped by Taco Bell to get a Caramel Apple Freeze. Have it's you tried it? legit caramel on the bottom, too. Look at I know. That. Which means your straw is going to automatically get caramel before anything else. Now, it's kind of swooshed up here, too. It's up in this. I tried the Burger King, um, was it Cherry Scream? Black Cherry Scream? Mm -hmm. Scary Cherry. S scary Black Cherry. Scary Black Cherry. And it's basically, um, it tastes like Diet Coke with a whole bunch of dye. So, I mean, if your goal is to drink like a Diet Coke slushy, then have really blue poo, that would be the drink for you. I, I suggest that one. Otherwise, skip it. This, on the other hand, how was it? Have you tried yours yet? No. We haven't tried it yet, so we're gonna we're gonna give that a shot. Hold on, as I do everything with one hand. One of the skills I picked up while I was single. Gross. Ha ha ha! All right. Oh, that's really tart. Is it? Mm-hmm. I got like a bunch of the caramel in mine. I pulled up so I wouldn't suck all the caramel initially. I think it's a mix you're gonna want. <laughs> It's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. It's not bad, all things considered. So, more to come. 
Um, there's going to be less sweets, unfortunately, on my channel. Um, I found out recently I'm on the verge of being diabetic. Or I'm on the verge of on the verge. Pre-diabetic. I am on the verge of being pre-diabetic. So I'd rather not be pre-diabetic. I'd rather just go back the other way. So sweets and stuff like this might be an every other weekend thing, maybe a weekend thing. I don't know. It depends on how much um, I, I can force myself. So, also, if the weather holds out, we're going to a pumpkin patch. Because it just started raining. But, again, it's raining now. So, more to come later. Alright, so this is a candy corn marshmallow pumpkin. Russell Stover. Brittany does not want to try this one, but I will try it. It's not bad. It's kind of really sweet. See the inside there too. Well, you are combining candy corn with marshmallow. That's true. Oh no, that was not bad.